You say that we should have known about the, the guidance from Facebook all along. Did you short the stock? I mean, <laughs> it seemed like it caught everybody by surprise. I, the reason I said we should have known is Facebook has been telegraphing for almost the entire year. Two things. One is that they're shifting their focus away from news to friends, and that's going to have an effect on advertising. The second is that they're going to hire thousands of people to take care of our privacy. Those people don't work for free. So what you saw yesterday with Facebook was, in a sense, not unexpected. Their margins decreased. The user numbers, the growth was low. But I think the bigger, bigger number to watch is user intensity, the, number, the time that people spend on Facebook. That we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Because after perhaps one of the worst quarters in terms of PR that a company's had, I was surprised that the user numbers actually went up. So to me, what, what you saw with Facebook yesterday was a reflection of what's been going on all year. And what the market did, uh, I, and this is what's surprising to me, is after April, the market seemed to have forgotten all about the privacy scandal yeah. and gone back to business as usual. And I think they got a surprise yesterday that they deserved. Okay, so you say undervalued on Facebook. Amazon just uh, came out with their, its earnings reports up about 3% after hours. Where do you stand on this? From a valuation perspective, Amazon it terrifies me as a company, simply because you find it overvalued, but you cannot bet against it because this is a disruption machine. I'm not even sure what business the company is in anymore. It's a platform that can be used pretty much to disrupt any business. And that's what's being priced in. I mean, remember, yesterday we punished Facebook for its margins going from 47 to 44%. Today, we're rewarding Amazon for its margins going from 6% to 8%. So we're using different sets of rules and expectations for these companies. But in a sense, Amazon is on its way up in terms of margins, and Facebook is on its way down. OK, so Amazon, you say, is worth uh, 1019 Let's fast forward a little bit. We're running out of time. Tesla, you say it's worth 190 So overvalued? Yeah, te Tesla to me is, is the danger of investing in a personality rather than a company. I think that, I mean, we can talk about how great the potential here is, but this is a company that, where well, the story doesn't make sense. Because what the company is saying about what it needs in terms of future capital is at odds with what it needs to do to become a great company. So it's almost like the company has to make up its mind as to what it needs to do. And in this case, when we say company, it's Elon Musk.